Hi, I'm Michelle Sackleyman and I've been at Southwar going on my 15th year and I am the Research Club sponsor. Research Club is here behind me. Um, I teach chemistry and love what I do. Today we are at the first STEM showcase that we've ever had. So we have a group um, of Research Club kids, we have uh, the robotics group, we have the uh, Skills USA students here today to show off their um, their academic talents. For, so for the Skills USA competition their school went to, I made a ballistics pendulum. And you fire a marble from this launcher into the pendulum. And based on the height, you can calculate how fast the marble is moving. So basically at SkillsUSA, um, for architecture, you're given a packet with like four pages in it. And it's basically specifications for a building plan that you're given. You're supposed to recreate the whole building. I ended up getting first with like a score of like, like a 97%. I did compete. I took home fifth place for 3D design and visualization. It was very challenging. We had a six hour competition, started from nine in the morning to three in the afternoon. Um, but more importantly than that, it was fun. Uh, it is the second place medal for the Skills USA competition in Springfield. I competed in the 3D visualization and animation. Well, um, we had a competition where we got these yellow balls and we had to shoot them at flags. And we had to build a robot within an 18 by 18 by 18 inch uh, parameter to shoot these balls. And so we got third overall in that. The Research Club is just this um, club that works with uh, local colleges um, such as Lewis University, Midwestern. There's a bunch of students that love science and want to learn more about the actual aspects of research. Uh, my project today is uh, hydrogels to see um, the effect of amino acids on the absorbency of them. So working with Lewis was really helpful because they already had um, their amino, like every material set up, what we needed was set up. There's a ton of problems with lead, with lead contamination specifically, but water contamination in general. A big one is Flint, Michigan, like with the lead contamination of water. So we're basically looking to see how things such as lime peels that no one uses and that usually go to waste can be used to do something good for the world and solve problems. We had limes at home, so we use limes to remove the lead from the water. So that just proves that it's available to everyone. It was really cool just because I personally haven't done any like hands-on research that really mattered. My project is about uh, using liquid crystals to block laser light from hitting pilots' eyes. And what that is is just people shining lasers at aircraft intentionally or unintentionally. But no matter what the case is, it poses a huge safety threat. 90% of the po uh, population has Epstein barbed wires. So if we somehow introduce a molecule that can interrupt this interaction here, um, the T cell is more likely to stay on and kill the cancer cells. It will help the immunotherapy in, in the future with um, helping like fight cancer and even by the cure for cancer. Some of the things that uh, are happening right now could never have been done in just a classroom setting. There's not a lot of time, but the kids have really invested um, a great deal of time outside of their classroom environment um, to do what they've done here today. So um, it's, it's really a point of pride.